You know, ever since digital came into our lives, I mean, I've always vacillated between film and, and digital, but as we can see, more and more, or, you know, digital is offering kind of interesting possibilities for creating work. And certainly it's allowing a lot of people access to creating work that would not, would not have had the opportunity to do that in film. Um, and, you know, I've been a big, huge fan of 5D. I mean, I really love the size of the chip. I love the fact that it's foreshortened. Um, but, you know, obviously people like me want to take it the next step where how can we then use Canon? Because I really love the fact that they appreciate the more cinematic filmic quality to it. Um, and Canon gets that. The engineers get that. Um, when they've designed these cameras. And I think that they also didn't realize the impact that the 5D would have in the world of cinema. But now that they have, um, they've also known and gotten on board with the fact that, you know, there are certain things like time code that's important. Um, being able to, uh, you know, put a monitor to the camera. I mean, all of these little practical things that have affected people like me, where you use a 5D on a commercial, and you have a bunch of clients who need to see the image or you know the digital tech needs to be able to have time codes so he can read the cards and all of that is beginning to change so I actually happened to go out and buy a C300 because I've gotten very active in trying to um, get the carriage horses off the streets of New York City. Um, I've become an activist in the animal rights uh, arena and you know, we needed a camera that I could go out by myself and shoot uh, high quality imagery that I would be happy with, um, but in a way that was very surreptitious because, you know, the carriage towards people are not nice people. And um, so I was able to go out with the C300 and the images are beautiful. I mean, I really love the, the kind of low contrast level of, of the imagery and the fact that it's very clean and I can pump it up and, at night time and not have too much artifacting. So there's lots of advantages to be able to do that. And I've always liked the Canon products because they're much more in the look of cinema than, uh, than this kind of, I feel like there's a harshness to some of the other products that are out there where they try to pump up the contrast to give it a more vibrant look but it's artificial vibrancy. And I really feel like Canon kind of goes straight to the heart of making something more cinematic.